Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel, Crystal here. I am going to jump on here and do a daily spread. I got some beautiful flower, beautiful flowers, beautiful flowers and paisley from Salty Mama Planner Co. And I'm really excited to use them. Uh, Saturday is actually my wedding anniversary with my husband. I know we, we haven't really settled on what we're going to do Saturday. Um... So I don't really have like a theme that I want to go with at this point. So I'm going to use these beautiful blues. These beautiful blues. And then um, I also have a weekly catch-all planner that I use or a memory keeping planner. So I can, I can document in there. And I can always create a single page uh, with some of the other planner, happy planner inserts that I showed you last week. I can always create an additional page for memory keeping. So. We're going to dive in and do a real simple spread with these beautiful blue paisleys. Um, I do have the, some, some really sweet scripture quotes here. And I might leave our butterfly on here. And I think I might. I think I'm going to use... Ah, uh, like I kind of want to use that God is within her. She will not fall. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. It is well with my soul. I really like that too. I think I'm going to use that one. Okay. Coming in with the it is well with my soul. I'm going to plunk it down. Plunk it. <laughs> plunk it makes me think of Plinko. And I'm thinking of Plinko. This is how women's brains work. I don't know. There might be some men whose brains work this way too. Plunk it down made me think of Plinko. Plinko made me think of the Go Wild Conference where I'm seeing people playing like a miniature version of Plinko, which used to be my favorite game on, what show was that? The guy had white hair and it was like a game show and you like won a bunch of prizes. The Price is Right. That's the one. Um, yeah. And that was really popular back in the day. I remember growing up watching that. My parents, my parents used to watch it all the time. I think it's got like a new host now. I think he got old and maybe he died. I don't, I don't even really know. Are there any shows that you guys used to watch as kids that the, the host or the actors are no longer alive? Share in the comments. I'd love to know what shows you watched growing up as kids. You might age yourself a little bit if you share, but don't be afraid. This is a safe space. We all love each other. We're all friends. No one's going to judge you. At least I'm not. I'm not going to judge you. I don't care how old you are. You play with stickers and you watch planner videos. <laughs> You're my kind of peoples, no matter how old you are. <laughs> um... So yeah, let's age ourselves. Age ourselves together. I started it, guys. Price is Right was one of the, the popular shows when I was growing up. And I am going to wipe that butterfly out. Because if I don't, she's going to show right through there. I was going to leave her, but I decided not to. It's okay to change my mind. I'm telling myself that. I know you guys don't care if I change my mind. I'm telling myself. Because sometimes... Sometimes I can be hard on myself about that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comments how many of you have been to a Go Wild conference. Have you ever been? If you have, um... Tell me what your favorite part of being at the conference was. What, what's your favorite part of going to the conference? And since I'm budgeting and I am planning and I am aiming to go next year, what should I make sure to do while, I, while, I'm, while I'm at the conference? What do you recommend that I make sure is on my list of things to do 
at the Go Wild conference. If you have not been to a Go, Go Wild conference, please let me know in the comments. And please let me know if you intend to go next year, because if so, I'm going to start making a list of people that are going to go next year that I want to meet and run into and spend time with and take selfies with and share planner stories with and create memories with. So let me know in the comments if you're going next year, if you've gone before, if you have gone, what you liked best, what I should make sure I do. If you don't know what the Go Wild Conference is, put that in the comments too. And do not feel bad about it because guess what? I didn't know what it was until like two weeks ago. <laughs> I did not know there was a meeting where people love to play with stickers and planners. I'll go to hang out. I did not know this. You guys, it blew my mind. I think it blew my husband's mind too when I told him. <laughs> told him. <laughs> I think it blew my husband's mind when I told him too. And since our anniversary is this weekend, and it is this weekend this year, the, the conference, I was like, babe, we could be in Anaheim, California right now. Like, we could have went to go wild for our anniversary. I don't think he was very thrilled about the idea of that. I do not think that tripped his trigger like it does mine. <laughs> oh, he's so good natured, though, that he would have went. If I had asked him and we had planned it, he would have went. And he would have just did something else during the day until... We could hang out and do things together. He totally would have done it. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty dang blessed, you guys. I got an I got an amazing husband. I got a good one. I got a keeper, girls. I got me a keeper. Got me a keeper. So I usually use all these um, checklists, but Saturday's our anniversary, y'all, and that's what day this is gonna be on. So I'm not gonna be checklisting. I'm going to try really, really, really hard. I'm telling myself this more than anything. I'm going to try really, 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 really hard to not have myself wrapped up in trying to be in here in my craft room or creative space all day long doing things because I really want to be engaging with my husband and doing some cool stuff. Celebrating six years, you guys. Second marriage for both of us. Blended family. Um, blended, like blended, I don't know, I don't know how to say this, we're blended like four times. It's a huge long story. Someday I'll get into it and I'll share it with you guys on here because it is an amazing story. It's, it's a sad story too, but it is a very amazing story of how God just how he works and how he pieces together lives and how he creates beauty and amazing things from heartache and chaos and craziness. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it to you guys outside of, I just feel truly blessed. I feel like a blessed woman to have a quadruple blended family. <laughs> we have such a huge family when we get together. Anyways, I digress. This, you guys, I was kind of worried about how this was going to look, but this is slowly turning into one of my, another one of my favorite spreads. I keep doing this. I keep, not like, I'm not bragging. I don't mean it like that, but I, I keep ending up with spreads that I'm kind of scared of how they're going to look. And then I'm like, Bang! What happened? That looks really good. It's the stickers. That's that's it. It's these amazing stickers. It's not me. It's these amazing stickers. Salty, Salty Mama Planner Co. Amazing stickers. I don't know if I like that. I shouldn't have did that, I don't think. Hmm. It's like a collage of boxes. But you guys, it's fun. Like It's fun like this. I really like this. I'm very excited to use it now. And I think I'm going to dress up a couple of these boxes just because. Just because why not? 
just because why not? Why not dress it up? I think I've almost used a whole sticker sheet. This will be the first sticker sheet ever that I've emptied, you guys. I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys celebrate that stuff or not, but I'm kind of excited that it's the first sticker sheet I've ever emptied. Okay, I'm going to trim that little bit of white stuff off the edge. And it was your sticker sheet, Salty Mama. Miss Kelly, it's your sticker sheet that I'm going to completely empty. Maybe. I have one sticker left on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know that it's going to work in here without overpowering what's already happening. Nope. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. You guys. <laughs> I used them all. Look, last sticker. Bam. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you guys, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of excited about this. This is the very first sticker sheet I've emptied. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I want to put this sticker on here, Kelly, but I kind of don't because it's got pink in it. And this is like all blue. And I really wanted to do another all blue spread. I can't see the sticker sheet's empty if I don't use it, though. Oh, I'm going to color my sticker. Hold on. I have a blue Tombow here. I'm just going to... I'm sorry I'm covering your name up. I really wanted to use it with your name on it. Ugh. I will tell you guys that I created another spread with her other stickers, and I did use her sticker for her name on it. Kelly, I, I'm not trying to hide your name. Maybe I'll write it in blue on here. Salty mama. Because I do love, I love these stickers. They're very pretty. And I actually think I'm going to cut this circle in half. And I'm going to use it in a couple of my... in a couple of my boxes to make them sort of kind of matchy. I don't know if that, that sounds funny, probably matchy. Make my boxes matchy. There. And look, I'm gonna take this blue Tom, mm, not the Tombow, because it bleeds through, you guys. I love Tombow pens, I really do, but they bleed through my page and I, don't like that. Same thing with my, that's a really pretty blue, but I don't think it's the blue I want to use. I think this one is. I love these Artezas. These Arteza Inconics, they do not bleed through my planner pages. So right down here, I'm going to write Salty Mama, so I don't forget that that's where these stickers came from. Salty Mama Planner Co. There, I wrote it in since I colored over your name because I wanted to keep it all blue. One of my favorite spreads from February was all blue, you guys. So I'm really excited that I got to do another all blue spread. And look, I have a black sticker here with her name on it I could have used. It's okay, though. Empty sticker sheet. Salty Mama Planner Co. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spread. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you've not yet hit that subscribe button, please do so. That notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new content. And the like button. If you enjoyed the if you enjoyed the stuff that we're doing here, hit that like button. Share with your friends. Share on Insta, social, your your YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. I share wherever you want to share it at. Um, and I will. Let me see. I wanted to share something else with you guys. Oh yeah, I learned how to schedule my videos on YouTube. Oh my gosh, mind blown. And it's made my life so much better. I got to read a chapter of my book this morning. Instead of spending time trying to schedule or get my YouTube videos posted, I scheduled some of them last night and I was able to read this morning. 
and that was really good for me. I really enjoyed starting my day reading after my Bible study or my Bible, uh, yeah, after my devotional time. I got to read in one of my fictional books. All right, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm very long-winded tonight. Uh, ciao, until the next time. Talk to you again soon.